Okay, so this week uh, on Amazon, a new book is available uh, named General Relativity and uh, it's for the 100th uh, birthday of uh, discovery of general relativity by Albert Einstein. This book is edited by uh, Minkowski Institute Press and uh, it's a conference book of uh, the Minkowski conference from last year on the nature and ontology of space-time. And uh, in this book there is a long chapter uh, written by our team and uh, it's interesting because uh, there is something very ontological which is uh, showing uh, how the golden ratio really emerged from uh, E8. And I can explain this to you, so, so this is made by some form mathematical formula that I can explain to you, but it is written a little bigger here so you can see this. So this is an equation between four matrices which are nine by nine uh, table of numbers. This matrix is very important. The specialists recognize that this is a carton matrix. And this is a carton matrix of the E8 lattice. And in fact, this is a carton matrix of an affine Lie algebra, which is not E8, but E9. And uh, you recognize E8 if you remove the first column and the first line. But here, this is E9. And uh, this is because E8 only, this is the Gauss polytope, but E9, this is the infinite uh, E8 lattice, which is what we project to do our quasi-crystal. So this matrix encodes all the geometry of E8, and it's very, relatively simple. And uh, when you have a matrix, and when you have anything that you want to measure, uh, you have to take the eigenvalue. In fact, the eigenvalue are the key values of any object. And uh, in quantum mechanics, this is what you measure. You, me you can measure the eigenvalue. So this is a process, a unique process, which will give you a diagonalization, which is a diagonal matrix, and two other matrix, which are the matrix of the eigenvector, which is one matrix here, and here this is the inverse of this matrix. And here we see that the diagonalization so the diagonal matrix has only number on the diagonal. And there, phi, in fact, 4, phi plus 2, 3, phi cube, 2, 2 minus 1 over phi, 1, and 1 over phi square. Um, so we have the golden ratio, which appears in half of the eigenvalue, and naturally 0 also. And it appears also everywhere in the eigenvector. And uh, really, it, when it was not put here by hand, it totally emerged from the carton matrix. We explain this as a theorem. This is a consequence of uh, McKay correspondence, but it was not known that uh, this consequence make emerge uh, phi in the uh, eigenvalue of uh, the E8 lattice, which is quite important for us.